What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? Finally, man. It's been a long, long time since we've had some shirts come out, let alone like merch in general. These are so freaking sick. I'm so happy with how they turned out. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know bluegill buffet. It's something we've said for a while, and I just feel like bluegill are one of those species of fish that is just completely underrated. I mean, seriously, this is the fish that got a lot of us, including me, into fishing. They're just always there for you, man. They're a ton of fun to catch. I love me a good old bluegill buffet. And the cool thing about this shirt, it's kind of like a restaurant themed shirt. We got the homage to Delaware, and it's really cool. It's kind of like an insider shirt. Like all of us, we know the bluegill buffet. Sometimes you're throwing bait down there, worms, whatever. They're just tearing it up. Like it's a big buffet, a bluegill buffet. But as I was saying, the cool part is like it's like a restaurant spin-off shirt. So a lot of people like who don't know we're just looking and be like, yo. Where's the Bluegill Buffet? That's a sick shirt. That place must have some pretty good food. I don't know. I'm just super happy with how these turned out. If you want to get one, you're probably going to have to be pretty quick. We ordered a limited amount. Kelsey and I are packing them by hand. We're going to be shipping them out. And this is going to kind of be like a drop style drop. Link is in the description, firststatefishing.com. They're going to be live on Sunday. And I'm telling you, I freaking love these shirts, man. I'm so excited for y'all to be rocking these. I'll be reposting y'all on Instagram who tagged me in pictures of you. And also, this really does help out the channel and help support our journey. If you want one, firststatefishing.com. All right, let's get into this video today. All right, we are over here at the spot today. Let me show you guys what we're working with. As soon as you guys saw, we ran into the bait shop. Listen to that, man. That is a beautiful sound. We finally got another bubbler. Well, I had a bubbler, but then I didn't have the batteries, but then the bubbler didn't work. We got a bubbler. She's bubbling. First of all, oh gosh. We got some live shiners. Swimming along with them in here. Oh, these dudes, these dudes are squirmy. We have some minnows right there. We are gonna be scientists here today, man. This is for science. I feel like this is a very well asked question. You know, what catches more fish? What catches bigger fish? Bigger bait, smaller bait. I've honestly had a struggle getting stuff to bite out of here, but I know that there are some big old fish. Will the bubbler boys get them to bite? That is the question. Whew, it is super toasty out here today. This is my beloved Mach 2 spinning combo from Luz. I believe we have 30 pound braid and like everybody in Florida just tells me like you don't really need a leader for a braid. I don't know if that's true or not. We're gonna kind of be figuring that out here today. But we just literally tied a shiner hook onto this braid. I mean, I'm thinking the simpler the better. We're just gonna put the fish on, cast it out, hopefully reel in bigger fish. I don't freak it out. As I said, this pond, man, between me and it, it's personal. Let me get one of these dudes out of here. Whew, right through the back. It's a debate, man, whether you should go through the mouth, through the back. We're gonna go through the back. Let's get over here. As I said, just straight old braid getting right into this, man. Dude looks very lively, spinning around. Boom. Right around there. I mean, this is kind of where I was getting bit last time. I don't know what was biting me. Yeah, it's Florida, so like, literally you never know. You know, you, you just don't. This dude's swimming. This dude is a lively swimmer. Oh, I got one. Right when he went on that tree. <laughs> oh my God. All right, y'all. First fish of the day. Let me get back over here to my stuff. I think, I'm, yeah, and pliers in my pocket. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. First fish of the day. It's this little smudgy. Let me clean it off real quick. He smashed that shiner right when it went under. Let me let him go real quick. Right when he went under this freaking uh, bush looking thingy. Okay, that dude, that was fast. It's kind of nice though, because this is like the only real uh, like cover slash structure in this whole body of water. This, and then there's like another like stick tree looking thingy over there, bush, whatever. There's a pipe all the way over there and there's kind of like some grass lines like along the edge. But as far as like structure, cover, whatever, I think there might be some bigger ones down there. And there is actually somebody fishing, kind of like the exact place we were casting the fluke last time. Somebody's like right over there. Like I saw him actually hook into a beast. So uh, yeah, no, there's definitely bigger fish in this body of water. And it is Florida, dude. There could literally like, dude, I would not be surprised if there's at least one 10 pounder. That worked pretty freaking good. So score one for the bigger uh, shiner live bait. What the heck, dude, they're so tiny. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Oh gosh. All right, first minnow going out. I'm not gonna lie, dude, this, this guy's lively. Oh, right over there. This is the one. I wonder if the braid is more, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't make as big of a difference on like the bigger, flashier, squirmier, shiner. Anybody want this dude? Come get him. Man, he may not be the biggest, but he's pretty darn lively. Let's try this tree. 
fishing like this too like I, I don't know dude you never know like the stuff is just going to break loose oh there's a tiny little bass right there what the heck oh all right that minnow was a tree ornament for a second they're so hard to find in here there's right, another one it's definitely interesting so i see a lot of small stuff look how lively this dude is but there's like a lot of bait fish around the size i don't know if they're mosquito fish or what the heck y'all got down here in florida but there's a lot of stuff kind of like roaming around so it'll be interesting to see like maybe they just wanted to oh okay never mind <laughs> what is that come here boy. <sighs> oh my gosh dude i was literally just saying okay okay hold on no, 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 no. <laughs> what is up my guy okay so i was saying that like maybe they didn't want the smaller bait because there's a lot of smaller baits but maybe when it's on the hook it's kind of like yeah twitching doing some shimmies maybe that entices them a little bit better all right dude that's good though one for one well two for two but one for one one bait one bait so far it looks like both very effective that was a second minnow the first one uh as i said the tree kind of ate it oh this is a big one oh there are some big shiners in okay this is no yeah no oh, oh my gosh i need to get him out let's get him towards like the tip over there come on man does bigger bait catch bigger fish? So far, I think the Shiner one was a little bit bigger. But I'm looking for, like, that dude over there caught a giant. There's got to be some biggish something in here. Oh, he's getting... Uh-oh. Wait, what? Okay, he was trying to get himself snagged. The other thing about these bodies of water, too especially this one there's like more than just okay he's like at the surface what are you doing my guy but there's more than just bass in here so maybe we get something else he's throwing a top water over there this dude good yeah no he's good let's try the other side all right there come on bertha Oh my god. Hello? He was just so lively. That dude was just smart. He literally got snagged up in the tree again. He did it once on this side, one on the other side. If you guys want to see the hooks I'm using, actually, they are two odd shiner hooks. Gamagatsu. Uh oh. Oh boy. I dropped my red pliers in the grass somewhere oh here we go another thing uh people always say and i guess i should say it too if you're ever fishing with shiners and you put the hook through them make sure you get like the scales off the tip of the hook let's try it down this grass line a little bit i do see some beds i wonder what the heck like whose beds they are could be tilapia i think there are actually tilapia in this body of water now there's fish hiding out around this grass around these edges too i've seen them before if y'all are liking this video so far though i'm having so much fun man i can't believe it's actually working i mean i guess i can but like my luck with florida and shiners is not the bet like a couple years ago we were down southern like more south down florida and we spilled uh i don't even know how we did it but we spilled shiner water on my big fancy camera at the time oh this thing's moving do i have fish on there or is that the shiner He's booking it. Where are you going, my guy? Let's get you back out deep there. He didn't want to be out there. Oh, oh, dang it. I'll take that as a sign if he doesn't want to be all the way out there. Alone in the depths. Again, though, I do just want to say, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please make sure to go down there, smash the thumbs up button. That really would mean a lot to me and uh, it really does help out the channel. How about this? If we get 3,000 likes on this video, we will try this experiment in the salt water. Small live bait versus big live bait, different stuff, we'll see what could catch what, hopefully land giant shark and goliath grouper, something. All right, we're gonna try a little different strat here though. Now we have a uh, bigger, like, this might be the biggest shiner that we got. But I actually hooked him. Oh, there we go. Hooked him in the mouth, like through the lips. I don't, I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments below where you guys hook your shiners. 
and stuff. Oh, that wind feels so good. I'm having fun out here. The pollen is still like, I don't know if you can hear my voice. It's still kind of freaking me up a little bit. Kelsey and I are actually starting our adventure off yet again. It feels like, I don't, it feels like we didn't start it yet. I know I said that in some videos recently. We've kind of been chilling at my sister's house. We've had our RV in storage around here. And uh, yeah, we kind of just been like fishing around this area, which there's so many bodies of water around here, which has been awesome. But uh, I'm ready to get back over. Oh, that was a thump. What is going on with this guy? Hello? But yeah, I'm ready to get back over and do some more salt water and just like work our way back up Florida and doing some more awesome. Oh my gosh. Yo, this guy's going crazy. We're doing just some more awesome Florida, -y, Florida stuff. There's a bunch more stuff I want to catch, and I mean, we're gonna be back here, no doubt. I have family here, and this is just like an awesome, like probably one of my favorite states, if not my favorite state, for fishing. So we'll definitely be back here. I'm just like ready, you know, to experience other stuff. What the heck was that? There's a big old freaking splash right out here. But yeah, man. After Florida, next stop, Louisiana. I'm ready to, oh my gosh, dude, the food. Oh, what the freak? Dude, something just blew up on me. My minnow was up top. Or shiner. What is going on? Do I still have it on? Oh. I got a fish. I got a fish. Oh my God. Dude, that's a good fish on the shiner. Come here, boy. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, my gosh. Dude, he's pulling dry. Oh, I still... Oh, my shiner came off. Come here, boy. <laughs> that's freaking go, dude. Okay, right in the side of the mouth there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he kind of like ate it on top. Oh, the shiner. He's now a floater. Oh, man. Dude, that's a good fish. I mean, compared to the ones we were catching in that other pond recently. Dude, that's a solid fish so far. Oh, he's got... Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see those like bumps all over him. He's got parasites all over him. But uh, yeah, so far that is the biggest <laughs> catch. I mean, that's a good fish, but it's not the fish of all fishes that we're looking for. I wonder, dude, I think these fish are in here maybe pre-spawn chasing bait. Cause I'm seeing explosions and we cast near one and that guy exploded on it. Hold on, they're like blitzing. I will say too, another advantage of these shiners is just castability, really. Let me just get this guy out there. They're just heavier and more you know, wait to launch out there. I mean, you can fish other rigs too. I'm sure a lot of people put like bobbers or split shots or stuff. I don't know, I feel like this is like the Florida, like the true Florida way. I've seen people, oh, what was that? Oh, that was way out there. I think it's safe to say these fish are keyed in on fish. I would actually be pretty curious to see though. Oh, something right there too. What, uh, like what kind of rig would you guys be throwing here with these minnows or shiners? Would you do a different rig for the shiner versus minnow? Definitely please help me out here. I, I'm not like a, like, I don't know. I don't usually throw live bait. Probably one of the biggest reasons I don't is because I didn't have freaking bubbles. But now we got bubbles, we got life. Anything is possible. I need to put another minnow on just for science, but I, I, I just have this like pre-existing thought that if we get a big one, it's gonna be on one of the bigger baits, which is not fair to the minnows. Can we just take a second too? I don't know if you could tell, just from like the video, but look, look how soft this is. I'm on like some pillowy Florida grass right here. That is wonderful. It's a very nice feeling on my feet. I, I appreciate this grass. It's interesting too, because it's like only right near the shore. I feel like this is like a setup, man. Like the gators put this soft grass here. All right, we walked over to this pond. Watch this. I have a feeling this thing's gonna get clocked. That is a loud car. This dude's just going freaking bonkers out. Right when I put him on the hook, there's one of the bigger shiners. Oh, there's one. Oh no. Oh my God, there's three bass that were following him. Oh, 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 oh my God. You guys cannot even see what's going on. Oh, do they have it? Oh, I got one. Oh no. Oh my God, right as it's going in, they're smashing it. Okay, this is crazy. These fish are freaking flared. All right, generally release that guy back in there. I didn't even show you guys him, but 
It wasn't like a big and big and let's get one of these smaller ones on there all right chill buddy it's so slimy oh no we're tangled got the tangled tip all right let's see got the smaller one on now this is science all right hold on let me get back in there Fair. oh oh my god <laughs> oh no i am not sure what this current evidence concludes let me put this is like a medium guy it's like a larger minnow it's not like a big old, old shiner it's not like a tiny, tiny minnow. All right, solid, I hooked the plant there. Small ones are so hard to cast out. One thing I will say though, with those bigger ones, they were having trouble getting them in their mouths. So that's an advantage of like smaller minnow. As far as fish science goes um, from this study, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do a different study. I think this evidence so far is inconclusive. I mean, they like these smaller minnows. They like the bigger shiners. I guess you can say that we did catch the bigger fish on the bigger fish. I got a half dozen shiners, which it looks like he actually, I don't know, he might've given me a dozen. I think it was like $8 and I think a whole dozen of minnows was $5. So there's a price difference you're paying like a little bit on the extra side for the bigger extra fish. One thing I will say too, oh, there's like a fish right there. I'm here for it, buddy. But uh, yeah, one thing I will say is that uh, the definitely, oh, did I get knocked? Oh well. I had a fish on there. Definitely the shiners last longer, like a lot longer. Shout out to this bubbler though, man. That's gonna be key too, because in Florida, if we get any more live shrimp, those things like do not last if you don't got bubbles. I'm talking like 10 minutes, especially in this Florida heat. Oh, oh let's see if we can get one more here and see if we can get any biggins. Oh my God, right when I threw that in. Okay, that's not a biggin. I don't know what to say, this is, this is just fun. Holy crap. Super pretty fish too. I don't know what it is about this pond, but they're like all spotted like that. I know there's biggins in here too, because I caught one. A lot of you guys, if you've been recent subscribers of the past year or two years, you might not have even seen that video. So I'll actually go ahead and throw it up right here. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of videos, like if you guys like these kind of videos or what you know you want to see, whether it's challenges, more catch and cook, survival stuff, more vloggy kind of stuff. As I said uh, in a couple of videos before, Kelsey and I have a channel we're about to start uploading on it uh, for everything on our journey, camper related and everything else related that's really not all fishing. That channel name is First State Camper. It'll be down in the description below. T-shirts coming out on Sunday. Uh, stay tuned to my Instagram to find the exact time they're going to be released. I think I'm going to upload a video on Sunday, so it'll be like kind of around the same time. But yeah, man, that's pretty much going to do it here for this video today. I just want to thank you guys so much, as always, for all the freaking support. Like, I was just thinking about it. I kind of think about this every day, but when I was in that room looking at all these shirts, like, I don't know. I just cannot thank you guys enough, man. March 2017 is when we really started uploading on this channel, and it's March 2021, and I don't know. It's just crazy, dude. Time freaking flies. We've grown a lot, though, and we will continue to do that, and uh, I'm just really excited for the adventures to come. Yeah, but as always, just thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. Sick stuff is on the way. All I gotta say, man, so let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where